There is one thing that wildlife photographers don't talk about. But first, a little backstory. November, December in 2022 was probably the most challenging month I had in a long, long time. Then in Norway, there is a, a dark time in that season there with lesser light in daytime. And that can be challenging for your mental health as well. But also I was having a bad shape. I was not feeling like doing anything. My energy level was way low and I started to gain weight as well. Everything was quite bad uh, in the situation there. And I planned the trip for Dovre in January. And I, for the first time I actually was like not looking forward to do that to that trip there because I knew that the trip was so hard to walk with heavy backpack and with snowshoes and upward and upward and I knew also that we can walk for hours before fan finding any animals and I struggled just to walk up my stairs to my apartment and that was not good at all I had to do something about that and I remember I read something in a, a book of a Norwegian professional wildlife photographer called Ole Jørgen Lioten. Uh, he speaks about the importance of staying in shape and take care of your health as a wildlife photographer. And that is actually one of his main tips in the book to take care of your body uh, because that will means that you have a lot more opportunities to go longer trips and be where the wildlife are, the birds are, and all also carry around these heavy backpacks and the heavy lenses that we're carrying around. I need to do something about this. This is the only person that can do something about this is me. So I decided to start to work out, to train my body, to train the cardio, to train the, the strength of my body, to use the lenses. As I talked in a different kind of videos, I talked about my elbows starting to get bad. And some of the things there was my arms wasn't strong enough and couldn't hold uh, the weight that the, the 500 and the 600 uh, was doing to my arms. So they started to weaken as well. So I need to build a core uh, foundation to do everything that, that I want to do. And I started to train with a uh, half an hour of weightlifting and a half an hour of a cardio training so I could strengthen my heart to go further uh, on uh, hiking trips with back backpack as well. I hadn't trained too much before I went to Dova, but I had trained two and a half weeks and actually that was enough to keep me going even better than I had before. It was not good, but definitely helped along with only two and a half weeks. And also, of course, when I, I, I started to train, I needed to like be more aware of what I put in my mouth, what I eat to compensate for, for not like just training to eat whatever I wanted to, uh, but I had to to like do both of them. And now I have been here in for three months, almost three months, and I'm training three days a week and maybe more sometimes as well. I must say, wow, I'm feeling a lot more better and my resting pulse has uh, decreased by 10, I don't know what it's called, strokes per minute. And I don't like breathe uh, heavily when I'm walking up my stairs. And also my arms are getting stronger. Lifting the heavy lenses and my backpack doesn't like strain my body because I have gotten much stronger in those months there. And also I lost for now, uh, 13 kilograms as well and that also helps when you want to carry around it's almost the backpack with my 500 millimeter for earlier all that I lost and you can like think of it that way and that makes it so much easier because I have plans for the future I have plans for this summer here to go on longer hikes take with my uh, tent a sleeping bag maybe sleep more out doing more camping and do some wildlife photography as well in that and make some new kind of videos for you and for 
doing that and be able to do that, I need to take care of my body. I need to stay in shape to be able to go on longer hikes without like stopping every minute to catch my breath. So I just wanted to say that this is really important. I did neglect it for years, but now as I started to feel a lot more energy in my everyday life and I'm much more confident in myself going on longer hikes because I know I can do it. And that can bring me much more opportunities to be able to do that as well. To be at the right place at the right time. And sometimes birds and wildlife are high up in the mountains or whatever. And now I can do that. So I just wanted to give you this tip that wildlife photographers do not speak about, but it's so, so important. And I will keep getting my body in shape so I can uh, have a better life quality as well. And my mental health is much higher and my physical health is much better, stronger heart and everything is like work together when you're doing wildlife photography. I know that not everyone has the capability to to run or whatever, but some physical activity is so important to be able to do what we do. And we want to do it as long as I can. Not stop when I'm 50 because my body cannot comprehend to do that. I want to keep going as long as possible. Yeah, now you heard some of the plans I have for this year here. I'm going to do more camping, more uh, wildlife photography with with hiking and uh, hopefully that's going to be some great videos. I've already started to walk into the Beaver Valley and I'm going up there again now in the eastern uh, and I cannot wait to share some new stories for the Beaver Valley. I know the beavers are there and uh, I have so much expectation for this spring, for the summer and for this year. I hope you're doing well. I hope this was a great tip for you and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.